Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody uh, left me a message on one of my videos, and they're actually from down under. And they had a question whether when you move your mouse wheel, when you've selected an item, you don't have to be on Zoom, and you move your mouse wheel, wheel downward, it, it goes out of, it zooms out. They asked if there was a way to calibrate that because it's at 300 and we're going to go, it cuts it in half, 150, 75, 37. Now, and they knew about this, if you hold down your shift key, it comes back slower or goes down slower. So let's, let's get back to 300, which is pretty much the full screen. And this time we're going to hold down the shift key and it only went down 240 instead of 150. 192 so it's going slower so i thought i'd do a video for them I, i'm still going to do some research and try to figure that out but if you also hold down the control button and move your mouse wheel the whole page will move if you hold down your alt button the whole page will move up and down control left or right this is pretty important if you were doing some detailed work like this is I need to redo this compass. But if I just wanted to move over a little bit, I can hold down the control key. And then if I wanted to move up, I would hold down the alt key and spin the wheel up. Anyway, I hope that answered their question. And well, I know it didn't answer the question because I can't, I don't see any way to calibrate the zoom. There is a way to calibrate it, but it's not the same as calibrating the mouse wheel. But if anybody knows, if they would chime in, I'd appreciate it. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.